recipes which I've been loving lately they're all gonna be very simple so it's gonna be a kind of like what I eat in a day video with simple wholesome plant-based recipes my skin is still a little bit all over the place <laughs> I'm having these kind of like weird spots in different places which is so strange because normally I don't get them if I do get breakouts normally it's kind of like on my hormonal chin jaw area so anyway what i've been trying to do i've been trying to eat as healthy as i possibly can of course no one is perfect i'm definitely not perfect yet. like yesterday we were out viewing some houses and we just stopped in a pub and i had a vegan burger with chips and it wasn't even that great but yeah you know what i mean i'm just trying my best when i'm at home so i've been trying to incorporate lots of vegetables as i said lots of green vegetables especially i've been trying to juice about every other day um especially with lots of like leafy greens kale broccoli and all of that and i've also been trying not to you to consume sorry too much sugary sweet stuff because my skin doesn't really do well with lots of like cakes and biscuits and chocolate and all of that although i absolutely love them so yeah, I hope it gives you some inspiration for some very simple, healthy, wholesome meal, which hopefully your skin will thank you for as well. And I will also share with you some of my favorite skincare products, which I do use when I go through kind of like a breakout phase. Um, so yeah, just some products which I find them helpful. Although I do think the only thing that really works when it comes to having a bad skin moment is just to have patience, just to be gentle with yourself, drink lots of water, eat lots of vegetable, you know, nothing groundbreaking. So it's breakfast time. So yeah, let's go make some breakfast. Well, for breakfast, I'm having some zucchini porridge. I do have this quite often. You probably have seen it on Instagram if you follow me there. So it's literally one small courgette or half of a large one grated with your grater. And then I'll show you, you got some oats. You can use as much oat as you like. Depends how hungry you are. I will leave a kind of like rough recipe in the description box. And then once it starts cooking, I will obviously add some plant milk to cook it. I'm going to also add some chia seeds and some flax seeds for some healthy fats and omega-3, which are so important, um, especially if, ooh, sorry, for skin health. And then to make the porridge taste nicer, I'm going to add some mashed or sliced ripe banana, so it will be naturally um, sweet. some blueberries pumpkin seeds and some almond butter as well and I know it might sound a bit weird having courgette in your porridge but it actually works in the sense that you don't really tasty you had vegetables and yeah just a great way as I said to just add more veggies into your diet <laughs> risotto made with quinoa maybe we can call it quinotto and i love this recipe because it's got so many different vegetables in it so it's gonna have courgette and finely diced or sliced brussels sprouts some peas and here i've got leek and garlic and obviously we're gonna need some quinoa 
and some veggie stock and possibly a little bit of nutritional yeast for that kind of like cheesy flavor but yeah let's go and make it as always we're gonna start by frying gently a little bit of oil or water whatever you prefer some leek and i've got three chopped garlic cloves in here as well and we're gonna saute for about five to eight minutes a separate pan i'm gonna cook the courgette and the shredded brussels sprout um, with a little bit of oil i've just cooked them separately because i feel like if i cook them with the risotto they will go really mushy whether i want to keep them you know quite crunchy so i'm just gonna literally pan fry them for about 10 minutes until they're cooked and to the result to the leek and garlic we're gonna add the quinoa and i'm gonna pour over the veggie stock as well we're just gonna keep adding it gradually as you would do with the risotto we just want to cover it the whole thing the quinoa is halfway there and now i'm just gonna add the peas and i think we're gonna cook for another 10 minutes risotto i mean the quinotto <laughs> is almost done i also uh, mash up some peas here Ooh, gets steamy again just because i think they need that to go a bit creamy because obviously quinoa is not quite as starchy as a uh, risotto rice here are the courgette and brussels sprout and i think i'm just gonna assemble everything together this is what it looks now i actually quite like the consistency it's not as creamy as risotto because obviously there is not much starch but i think it's quite nice uh, texture wise i'm gonna add a squeeze of lemon i also added salt and pepper make sure you season your food properly because <laughs> i can make a massive difference and i'm actually thinking to add a little bit of coconut yogurt i don't know whether that's a good idea or not but i think i'm gonna try hopefully it will taste good works really well and the lemon juice I also add a little bit of a lemon zest in it this is really good it's very really fresh so in the end sorry in the end I didn't add any nutritional yeast because I think it doesn't need it but if you have a little bit of cashew cheese I think that would taste really nice with this I'm having a little sweet dessert kind of like afternoon pick me up so these chocolate covered almond they're so good and have a, like this orangey flavor oh my goodness i'm obsessed and i also have um echinacea tea from puka a corn chowder i've made these ones ages ago and i absolutely love it it's so simple using very few ingredients so you obviously need some corn you can use frozen corn or tin corns i've cooked these previously and i just need to use them and then we have some potatoes onion some stock cube celery and i would probably use some garlic maybe a few other herbs maybe a dash of almond milk let's see how it goes Okay, so we are going to start by adding the chopped onion, celery and garlic to a pan with a dash of oil. You can also use water and we're going to saute them for about 10 minutes until they start to caramelize. Okay, so now I've just added some chopped potatoes and then we're gonna have the corn you can use as I said frozen or tin corn it really doesn't matter and then we're gonna pour some veggie stock until the soup is covered I probably will need all of them but you can add your, you can gradually add it on and then that kind of that's kind of it for now i think i'm just gonna leave it covered with the lid and we're probably gonna cook it for about 
20 to 25 minutes. The soup, I think it's ready. I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, oat milk. You can also use soy cream, soy milk, sorry, just to give it a bit of a creaminess. And then I'm gonna add in some nutritional yeast. Love nutritional yeast for that kind of like cheesy flavor. Plus nutritional yeast is so good for you. It's actually really high in protein. And this one is fortified B with B12 as well. The last thing that I've added was a little bit of mustard, Dijon mustard, some salt and some pepper. And now we're going to blitz it up with a hand blender. I want to say, just don't blitz it up completely, just partially, like that. just a very quick salad with tomatoes, lettuce and spring onion and I'm just gonna have to re-eat a little bit the corn chowder because it's gone cold since I was taking the pictures but that is dinner. As promised I'm gonna show you the few skincare products which I find them very helpful when my skin tend to break out so I've just washed my face and I've been using these perfect canvas clean jelly by Ren skincare and this is just a great all-around cleanser and what I do which I find it helps especially with scarring is exfoliate so I take a cotton pad and at the moment I've been using a Polar's Choice 2% BHA and alternatively I've also been using Ren Skincare um, Glycolic Acid Toner. So I do use like one day I use Ren and the other day I use Polar's Choice. I use them pretty much um, every day but if you never use kind of like acids, I know it sounds awful but it's not as bad as you think. It's basically just a chemical exfoliation instead of a mechanical exfoliation. You might want to start with maybe like um, twice a week and see how you get on and see how your skin reacts because I do have my skin scars very easily so for example this one is not an active uh, spot anymore it's just a scar this one is still active <laughs> sadly so just I just pass it all over my face and a little bit here on my jaw area as well then a couple of times per week I've been using this nighttime facial by Ren again. I'm a huge fan of Ren, but this is not sponsored whatsoever. I bought this product uh, with my money. It's basically like a kind of like exfoliator, exfoliating and brightening mask. And you just apply it, as I said, a couple of times per week before you go to bed. And the last product I want to show you is this uh, black cumin pimple treatment which I've been using for years and years and years and by far is the most effective thing I found for breakouts especially when you get those really nasty angry hormonal breakouts it's from a brand which is called Audacite and what I do for example this spot here is still active so I put a tiny 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 drop because it's so potent on the spot before I go to bed and that's it that's all I do and definitely in the morning you can see that the spot has come down a lot or if it's supposed to have a white head it's kind of like speeding up the process I will link everything in the description box and um, if you guys want to check them out but yeah I do find this kind of like few products helps um, kind of like getting rid of spots but obviously for me diet is always the number one priority when it comes to skin I'm just gonna wrap up the vlog here guys I hope you enjoyed it and if you try any of the recipes make sure to tag me on Instagram because I always love to see your creation and if you have any suggestion for any new upcoming video please let me know I will make sure to link everything in the description box and to leave all the recipes as well and i guess i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon bye